Welcome back to my channel, Motosuckers. Hey, yeah, I knew this video was coming. So shout out to the Melanin Shade Room. Make sure y'all following the Melanin Shade Room on Instagram. That's where all my melanated tea comes from, okay? So I saw the Melanin Shade Room post Danny Lay or Danny Lee's response to the backlash behind her new song, Yellow Bone. She captioned the video, Yellow Bone, that's what he want. And the baby commented with three yellow circles. So after receiving some backlash, Danny posted, Why? Why can't I make a song for my light skinned baddies? Why y'all all think I'm hating on other colors when there are millions of songs speaking on all types? Why y'all so sensitive and take it personal? God damn. Now, some people are saying, you know what, there's nothing wrong with lighter skinned women, you know, celebrating their complexion and singing about their complexion. But the song is just trash. And some people are saying, no, this ain't it. First of all, you're not black. Let's start there. OK, you're really black fishing and we ain't call your ass out yet. But you know what? Let's do it. So the term yellow bone refers to someone who is of African-American descent but has a lighter complexion, a yellow undertone. Even the term light-skinned refers to someone within the black community who has a lighter skin tone. Now, you will see women of other races and ethnicities refer to themselves as light-skinned, as yellow, as red bone. I mean, you will even get white women who will call themselves light-skinned, yellow, red bone. Like, it's ridiculous. I mean, and I'm just going to say it, black rappers have given them the pass to do so. The one drop rule has also given a lot of these women the pass to do so. And unfortunately, what happens is these women, knowing that lighter skin and racially ambiguous features do get praise over actual black women and unambiguous features, they'll use that to their advantage, you know, and they'll take on that. Yeah, I'm a red bone. Yeah, I'm a light skinned. And they're actually the ones that's causing the, the divide between actual light skinned and dark skinned black women. So I'm going to have to agree with Folake on this one. It's giving very white supremacy. It's the same thing as a white woman going on and singing about her white skin. It's giving white supremacy because girl, girl, we passed that. What are you, what are you even doing? It, it's the enemy of progress. It is the enemy of progress in the flesh. Black women have been having these conversations about colorism. We've been accepting each other for our differences and our similarities. And here you come talking about some, he want a red bone. He want a, we don't give a fuck what he want. And you know what, sidebar, I think it's a shot actually at his dark skin baby mama. You know, I heard they've been beefing. So that might've been a shot at her, but a shot at her is a shot at the community, baby girl. You should have said her name. You got to at her next time because when you don't at her, now you're getting bullied off of the internet. You feel me? So, And even her response was really cringy. Why can't I make music for my light-skinned sisters? Why can't you, as a non-black Latina, make music that celebrates all Latinas in all shades? Because the same thing happens in the Hispanic communities. The lighter-skinned, non-black Latinas get privileged and get praised. So why won't you celebrate everyone in your community? Why are you coming to the black community and causing division? I really don't get it because you're not a black Latina. And some people get it confused. Not all Latins have African ancestry. Some have European ancestry. Some have a mixed ancestry. You're white. Yeah, you're white. And you've been saying the N word and I've been silent. But the people have said, no more. We have a new president. No more. <laughs> Just because you get tanned and you get lip fillers and you contour and you can dance, that does not make you Afro-Latina. This is a whole bozo. This bitch is a whole bozo. Chow. So now Danny Lay is trending on Twitter because I guess, chow, people are just finding out that she's not black. You know what? <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all, seriously? Seriously. Okay, y'all gotta watch my videos. <laughs> and it's not to say that because she's Dominican, she's not black. Again, Dominican is an ethnicity and not a race. Okay, so you can be black and Dominican. Yes, you can. 
but we've seen photos of her without the fillers and the tans. We've seen photos of her parents and it's giving white Latina. And that is okay. There's nothing wrong with being a white Latina. She's a cute girl, but she's not black. So number one, you're not light skinned. You're white. The actual light skinned women are saying, no, 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 ma'am. No, 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 ma'am. We didn't ask for this. We don't condone this. No, 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 ma'am. And it's really unfortunate that phenotypically, we all know what black people look like. No, we may not have all of the characteristics and check every box, but we know what black people look like. Unfortunately, the one drop rule has shackled a lot of people and y'all invite everybody to the cookout. If she can dance, she's invited to the cookout. If she got a curl, she's invited to the cookout. Oh, them lips, those them black lips, she's invited to the cookout. And this is what happens. This is what happens when you invite everybody to the cookout knowing good and goddamn well that girl wasn't black. So of course she's going to say the N-word. She was invited to the cookout. She was invited. We, we basically gave her the pass. You know, I have personally have never heard anyone outside of, you know, the black American community refer to someone as red bone. So if this woman is considering herself a red bone, that means people within the community have considered her red bone she's confused now black men are telling her she is black women are telling her she's not <laughs> and i saw this tweet please don't compare danny lee's trash song to beyonce's brown skin girl one song is about how brown skin women are beautiful the other song is saying he wants a yellow bone they are not the same plus her song sounds horrible now i haven't seen anyone compare the two so maybe she's just warning us you know don't compare I'm not even going to dignify that with a response. You cannot compete. Ladies, say with me, you can't compete where you can't compare. Beyonce and Danny Lee, the names shouldn't even be in the same sentence. So I'm just going to keep going. This is where I'm starting to get aggravated. Child, when Twitter want to know who you are, they're going to find your parents, okay? So her mammy and her pappy, uh, they found photos of her mammy and her pappy, and they're not black. I mean... Y'all are surprised. I'm not. You know, beautiful couple. No hate towards them. But you're not a yellow bone. You're not a yellow bone. And you know what? I salute black women, light skin, dark skin, brown skin for coming together like Voltron to say, ah, 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 ah. This is divisive. There is no love. There is no uplifting. This is divisive. This ain't it. I salute y'all for that. And to be honest with you, I took Danny Lee off my radar when she reposted that embarrassing, embarrassing clip of B. Simone. Just y'all know the clip I'm talking about where B. Simone was just raving on and on about Danny Lee and basically praising her white Latina features over, you know, Simone's light skinned black women features, you know, and that should tell you right there. When she reposted it, it should told it should have told you right there how she felt. I would have commented like, "Sis, don't do that. You know you beautiful. You know we both beautiful." We because honestly, the self deprecating jokes are not cute. They're not funny, and it's embarrassing. So again, for someone with even an even bigger platform to repost that and laugh at that and have her followers laugh at that, what is she really reinforcing? And let me just say this again. Calling someone out for being racist, homophobic, colorist, classist, sexist, it does not make you a hater. That's why I'm so glad I'm a beautiful ass black woman because I have no reason to hate on anyone. I really don't. But I'm going to call your ass out. And if your only defense behind that is that I'm a hater, you're proving my point, baby. You have your head so stuck up your own ass that you can't even be like, damn, okay, let me analyze what I did in this situation. No, it's that I'm pretty and, I, and you're a hater. No, baby. No. So Danny tweeted, I'm going to keep letting God bless me while y'all sit back and judge me and sit behind y'all little phones and type shit out about another woman. Y'all all haters. <sighs> <laughs> and honestly, I could see if the song was fire. I really could. I, I could, you know, like, damn, I like, you know, your guilty pleasures, like, damn, the song was fire, though. Fuck it. I'm dark skinned, but I'm still going to bop to it. You feel me? There's songs about praising light skinned women that I actually enjoy and I bop to it. You know, you feel me? This wasn't it. 
This was not it. There's no reason to hate on this song. There's no reason. And the only reason why you think everyone else is hating is because of that complex, that superiority complex, that white supremacy complex. I'm just saying. And unfortunately, Danny, you're digging your own grave. You have no one to blame but yourself. Hopefully the baby could help you some way, somehow. I don't know how, but hopefully he could help your career. But this ain't it. Calling us haters. <laughs> you're not going to. I'm sorry. This, you can't. No. You can't call yourself Afro-Latina without the Afro. You need the Afro. to. You need the Afro part. You need it. You know what? Let me go. Let me get on out of here. <laughs> y'all let me know what you thought of this situation, y'all. <sighs> I'll see y'all at the next one. I can't even. I can't.